Alright, this is John Colo with GrowingYourGreens.com to have another exciting episode for you. Today I'm going to share with you guys the most amazing Black Friday sale for gardeners. So if you have a husband or a wife or a spouse or a nephew or a cousin or even a friend that does organic gardening, this is the Black Friday deal you want to get them to put under the tree so that they can start next season with the best products ever. So I'm here at the home of Boogie Brew in Rotor Park, California. We're going to go inside and talk with Josh who's going to share the 40% off discount. This is probably the biggest discount he's ever given. He's basically, this is a loss leader to keep his workers working and uh, <laughs> and working throughout the winter time when it's regularly slow. So let's head inside Boogie Brew and learn more. So now we're inside Boogie Brew World Headquarters here in Runner Park, California. We've got one and only Josh from Boogie Brew. The Boogie Boy. The Boogie Boy. And he's going to share with you guys his amazing Black Friday sale. 40% off, limited time only guys, so order soon. This offer will expire because like he's really not making any money on this. So Josh, why did you decide to do a Black Friday sale this Friday instead of, you know, like you haven't done in the past? Well, because normally, you know, it's just a bigger headache. <laughs> but my shippers asked me, because this is our slow season and they're going to be traveling to Mexico in January, need a little extra travel money. So this is the shipper special put together with Hector and Johanna and uh, they're the folks that I usually pay to manage me so a bigger business is usually a bigger headache so I'm doing this for my shippers I'm asking you all to participate in what is absolutely a lost leader Leah's gonna be thrilled about this I guess you know a tax writer for us but yeah it's 40% uh, off what we call the uh, most popular essential boogie product. All right, Josh, so what comes in the Black Friday sale? Yeah, this is the Black Friday shipper special box. We're doing this, like I said, for our for, to, to help our shippers out more keep than- Keep working. Uh, yeah, keep our, keep our guys busy in the slow season. Um, for me personally, I like the slow season. Less is more, means more time to ride my bike. <laughs> a bigger business is a bigger headache. But yeah, starting out, we got the Boogie Blue Plus filter. By the way, they helped me select this, Hector and Johanna themselves, to, for each one of these items to be a, a, a perfect stocking stuffer. They'll all fit in your Christmas stocking. So, of course, the filter is a great stocking stuffer. And this normally retails for uh, 57 bucks. $57 and our, yeah, filter. Yeah, a Boogie Blue Plus filter, uh, 40,000 gallon average lifespan. It's got the KDF, it's got the high grade carbon. It's a world class filter, especially for that price. I mean, you go look at all the reviews for hose mounted inline water filters. These do come out tops. Yeah, and you gotta, guys, gotta remove the chlorine and other contaminants yeah. out of your water, especially if you're making tea or have living soil, like I recommend for you. Yeah, guys. this is the, the first step to a, a, a healthy garden is having good clean, clean water. water. Yep. Just like us, we drink filtered water and so should our plants. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then uh, along with the plus, we're also throwing in a Boogie Blue Basic. And this one usually retails for $28.99. This has a 10,000 gallon lifespan. This does not remove the chloramines, the ammonia bound chlorine like the Boogie Blue Plus does because it lacks the KDF. But it does have a higher flow rate, which some people like, especially if you're using a hose end sprayer. Um, it's a catalytic uh, carbon and it's a great value filter in and of itself. A lot of people will use these together, use the basic as a pre-filter mm. to help extend the lifespan of the plus. Keep in mind that the two of them together, you're gonna dramatically slower, uh, slow your Water, flow rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, I actually recommend um, like a, a pre-filter as in like just a, a sediment filter. You can get those on Amazon for, you know, 10 bucks. Um, so yeah, our basic and our plus filters come in this package and if you were to buy these at their regular separate pricing together then th these two together at their regular retail pricing separately packaged would actually equal the amount that you get from this whole Christmas bag special so everything else from here on out is like Basically a bonus. Free. Yeah. Alright so yeah. let's take a look at what, 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 right, what well, else we get man. Of course you get the Boogie Brew Tea We've been, same formula now for the last uh, 11, 12 years. Well, about eight years ago, it became a two-part tea, but the ingredients are still essentially unchanged. You can go look at John's video he did uh, on open source compost tea that I was happy to host with you years ago. Um, so this comes with the base and the boost, the burlap brew bag, the brochure with the instructions, fantastic 
um, all around soil tonic. A, a living soils high octane fuel additive of choice for your living soil engine right here. Three pound pack of the Boogie Brew Tea and this usually retails for $33.99. And how many gallons of tea can you make with oh, that? Oh yeah, truck? this will make you 50 gallons of the full strength tea. In most situations, we advise that people do um, you know, around a one to five dilute. So 50 gallons, that actually give you about 250 gallons of usable feed material for your garden. So small three pound pack of high octane Boogie Brew tea actually goes a long ways. You can do it you know, once or twice a month. Um, you can do it once or twice a week, depending on your needs. You know, if you have a first aid situation where you're um, plants need a whopping dose of biology where your soil just needs an injection of life then go for the heavier feedings if you already have a super living soil engine um, and you're just trying to you know keep that engine well tuned and humming along um, in a harmonious fashion then once or twice a month and also I recommend not using boogie brew we've done videos about what I recommend besides my or as an completely valuable alternative to begin with to um, our rather over-the-top tea recipe the workhorse tea so uh, post some links below yeah this. links yeah. down below to the workhorse tea recipe but I mean that being said I mean Josh will undersell his product I'm gonna say I don't use no workhorse tea recipe in my garden I only use a boogie because I just want to put the best out there yeah to my plants and I'm not short changing my plants or my health by growing inferior food that doesn't have all the high octane nutrients so Josh Tell me this, whether you're a cannabis grower or a vegetable grower, what kind of feedback have you gotten from some of the customers that you sold the Boogie Brew to? What have they told you, like what happens to their plants? What have they seen different? Oh, their plants, your plants will dance. I mean, you, yeah. But like what specifically, man, has like, when you're growing flour, mm -hmm. right, for flour, yeah, yeah. does their yield go up? What percentage rate does their yield go up? Or is it higher quality or yeah. what would you say? I'd you say, I'd say quality even, I mean, obviously the quantity can go up dramatically if, the garden's lacking, you know. Um, this can bridge some gaps. It can help with uh, excess salt buildup if you have too much fertilizer. Um, it can also help provide a nutrient that may already may not may be lacking to begin with. It's um, a really good balancing agent. I mean, we don't have time right now to go over all the benefits of this product, but <laughs> but they are innumerable. The benefits of Boogie Brew, um, but yeah. That's a two plantas baila. Make your plants dance. That's what this stuff will do for sure. And what I'll, what I'll tell you guys honestly is that, you know, this will add the biology, which is the engine, which basically makes the food so web work with the fungi and bacteria in there. And of course, it also has a full synergy of different soil amendments built in, including trace minerals, which most gardens don't generally get. So, yeah, I mean, if you just had to get one product, I'd say get on the Boogie Brew, get on the compost tea, because I know a lot of you guys still are not using it, and it's the one foundational product, I guess, maybe after the filters. Well, yeah, yeah. I'd call it a good foundation for sure. It's a bit over the top, just like it's founder. <laughs> you, know, you don't necessarily need 18 vegan ingredients, but they are all there in what we believe are the cor correct proportions for a world-class batch of tea. Um, yeah, like he said, Create, helping feed that web of life. And you're not feeding plants with this, you are still feeding soil. Mm. And when you have such a superb soil, then any plant will dance in that living microbial matrix that you're fostering with this product. Um, as far as fungi, our tea is a shamelessly bacterial recipe. Um, so yes, there's some fungi in it, but the microbial count, uh, bacterial count, excuse me, is, you know, far 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 it's way a bacterial product however uh, folks send me pictures of mushrooms now growing next to their cannabis plants which in you know in the exact same soil they've used for years and after applying boogie brew boom you know the fungal relationship is kick-started in the soil by this bacterial product so it's feeding part of that system it's feeding a, a huge chunks of that system that uh, allow for um, the fungi to flourish as well in your soil. Keep, when you're brewing a compost tea, I, it's my belief that trying to make a fungal tea is, is silly because fungi drown in yeah. solution. You know, sure, you can say, well, just use enough air, just oxygenate the barrel. Well, yeah, we mandate the use of a lot of air, especially for a rich recipe like this. I mean, you ideally want one liter of air for every liter of tea that you're brewing. 
So uh, the 45 liter a minute pump that's included, for instance, in our Pro Brew kits that we sell, um, that will handle, there's about 3.8 liters in a gallon, so that would handle 10, 11 gallons. Anyway, do the math. Make sure, yeah, of course, it is absolutely paramount that you do use a pump that won't just keep goldfish alive in five gallons, you know, that would really create a microbial explosion, an aerobic super tour de force. Um, but yeah, trying to get uh, fungi in a compost tea, I just think is, you know, a bit well, of Well, there's a lot. fungal component in the compost tea. Yeah, I don't know the science of it, even though I know my product really well. <laughs> and I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I know I came up with a great recipe. Um, but actually, as far as the hard science, I'm pretty still woefully unaware, as we all are, as we all are. Um, the more we think we know, the more we don't know. We've discussed this before. We know more about the cosmos above our heads than the dirt beneath our feet. It's a whole other universe that even the most gifted soil scientists on the planet know very little about. And shame on us humans for, you know, plundering that soil. <laughs> but this stuff should help to uh, nurture back to life. Y you know, it works the best in first aid situations mm -hmm. with soil that's lacking uh, life, lacking life forms, lacking microbial counts to begin with, but it also is a great maintenance additive. Their boost. Yeah, for, um, you know, for soil that doesn't really need tea to begin with, this is still helpful. So yeah, we get the Boogie Brew, the filters, these are our essential, most popular products, and we're packaging them into a shipper's special, a hell of a And then what else comes in the deal. package, Josh? So you get, of course, the Boogie Black Soldier Fly Frass, and don't forget, even on your regular orders, always add a note for free frass, and whenever we can, we'll fit some in for you. We literally give away more of this than we sell. Um, and what we do sell, we sell at very fair frass pricing. But you get a one pound bag of the frass. You're gonna add the frass to your tea. The Boogie Black Soldier Fly Larvae Frass. Again, link to- Link the, down yeah. below to the video we made on the black We've frass. We've done a couple of videos. Yeah, yeah, link to a couple of your Black Soldier Fly Frass videos. Um, and then how do they use the frass with the tea, Josh? Yeah, you wanna wait, yeah, so of course, you wait till the tea has matured. In how the, many hours? In, well, in Boogie Brew's case, that can be as little as 18 hours. But in a workhorse tea, Again, there'll be the link to the recipe. Yep. Um, uh, that would be more like, you know, wh when you're down to about the last four to six hours of brewing. So if it's a workhorse tea that takes 48 hours, wait till hour 40, 42. And then add um, actually as much as an equal amount of Boogie Black as the Boogie Brew ingredients. So a five gallon recipe for the two part tea base and boost is half a cup each of the base and boost that are included in this package. One cup of tea ingredients. Uh, in Boogie Brew's case, wait for 18 hours and then add a whole nother cup of frass. Um, for a workhorse tea, follow the uh, volumetric ingredients list that's shown in the workhorse tea recipe, but which would be, you know, more of the basic ingredients is still cheaper, even though it requires more than the higher octane, more expensive formula and that this represents. So uh, uh, two or three cups of castings uh, and a whole cup of frass. Again, adding this when the tea is mature is crucial because there are dominator species in this product. It's also rich in nitrogen and a good compost tea does not want to be overwhelmed either by too much nitrogen early on and certainly not by the dominator species because they can, um, ri you risk wiping out the delicate younger microbial populations in an early tea that hasn't had time yet to mature and form its own dominator species. That's the thinking. Not so sure about the hard science, but again, I've learned all this actually from you all, <laughs> from my customers over the years. The most, most responsible way to use tea and frass together is to wait for a tea to mature, then add frass and keep brewing for a few more hours. And now you have a supercharged tea that we believe has, you know, greater pest resistance qualities baked into, you know, the soil system that you're feeding such a fortified tea to. Right so that's there. the main benefit, right, Josh? If you if you use this, mm -hmm. right, then you're gonna have less pest pressure. So if your plants always get aphids, you're gonna have less of a potentially aphid problem if you add this to your tea because of the chitinase yeah. in there and the chitin. Yeah, there's um, uh, the enzyme that dissolves the chitin is chitinase and this is a chitinase supercharged formula. 
um, and, and certainly when you digest it with the tea, the end result is massive levels of chitinase. And yeah, we believe that that puts out an inhibitory signal in your soil system that bad bugs then run away from. And like I've said in this, I remember saying this in the video we did about the benefits of black soldier fly for us. I had people calling me in tears of gratitude that they finally had a bug free garden. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. Prevention is worth more than <laughs> cure, guys. That's why I use these very products. Every plant hole that I plant, actually, it gets some black frass in the in the plant hole. Plant and, and, hole. and your plants like that. Right? Oh yeah, because like I mix that. I mean, link down below to my video the mm -hmm. three things that add to every planting hole, which is black frass, you know, rock dust, and uh, the castings. So this has really become. It's a staple for my JK garden. Essential. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Wow. Okay. I need yeah, to take I, some home with me. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. You have to grab some. Yeah. And then we, I think we got one item left, right? I also use this product right after I do transplants, or if my plants aren't looking too healthy, I give them a boost with this product, which yeah. actually I think Josh would say. If you're going to buy one product, it's even better yep. to buy this instead of his compost tea, right? Yeah, absolutely. If you buy, if you're going to use one auxiliary item in just about any garden, it's um. Oh yeah, that was, okay, I came with Spanish spelling. Uh, proteina pura seca, all right, pure protein. Uh, codfish hydrolysate, pure protein because it has been hydrolyzed using an enzyme bath that breaks down the codfish to their essential amino acids, the purest of protein structures, the aminos that are in the codfish. And um, codfish protein for plants is like spirulina, aminos are for our bodies. It is the best array, the best pattern, um, the correct levels of tryptophan and glycine and yada yada yada, isoleucine, the other essential aminos for really healthy plant tissue structure are found in codfish like in no other place in nature as far as plants craving the highest octane, cleanest Easy, most easily absorbed, easily digested, and utilized by the plant's tissue structure for super healthy growth. The math on using the protein with the tea is you want the finished tea um, not full strength with the protein. It's going to be about one to five dilute of tea. So if you have a one gallon sprayer, you're going to have um, you know about a quart of full strength boogie brew in it and then the remainder water so you have about a that's one to four but close enough one to five twenty percent more or less dilution rate and then um, two tablespoons of the pure protein and that combination is it's just rocking man it just it's absolutely insane you know if you're gonna do one thing only and just as little as once or twice a month then that's what you would do yeah. And then what, what results have people gotten and told you about after using the protein? Uh, leaves that Picasso could be proud of. Like know. they just like really deep, rich, deep, green, yeah. like super healthy. Yeah, just the deepest, uh, healthiest tissue structure, the leafiest, greenest, best green paint recipe, and it lasts for weeks. Um, the infusion of aminos continues to uh, be absorbed by the plant's tissue structure and it continues to benefit that structure, speed up growth, everything's lusher, deeper, greener, without any burn. That's the miracle about the pure protein. Because it's all in the form of amino acids, it's completely non-burning nitrogen. So don't be fooled by the 1511 rating. Like I said, it's all in the form of amino acids. The plants love those aminos. They use them at all stages of growth and the aminos they don't need at whatever stage of growth you're using it at, the plant, well, the soil will naturally biodegrade. In fact, it will benefit whatever remnants drip onto the soil. Mostly though, I recommend it as foliar because I'm on your value team. I'm trying to save you money. I'm trying to prevent you from using unnecessarily larger amounts of great products that, you know, aren't exactly cheap, you know. Um, but it, it's such good value for money. It really it is. is. At just two tablespoons a gallon, you're not paying for water, you reconstitute it yourself in a diluted tea, infuse it and use it before you lose it, get that fresh probiotic super spray, supercharged with the aminos onto those leaves, and yeah, your plants will dance even more, <laughs> for sure. So Josh, why is this, why is it pure protein? Because I know some of you guys are still using fish emulsion, which is like totally, <laughs> like you got a 1987 that stuff man <laughs> so why is this better than fish emulsion you know uh that most people may use still get as gardeners well i wouldn't i wouldn't 
I wouldn't completely discount fish emulsion. Fish I mean, there's benefits. To yeah, that for there's sure. That for sure. I mean, but why um, is this fish emulsion can can really stimulate fungal life forms in the soil? This would just be this would just be the super concentrated and yet cleaner, so to speak. Cleaner. Yeah, cl it's cleaner, leaner, meaner, pure purified you know, crystallized aminos that would be in that emulsion. Now, some people could argue, maybe correctly, maybe not, that the emulsion has other factors in it that may or may not be missing from this. However, I've heard excellent reports about pure protein by itself stimulating fungal life forms. Again, the mushrooms growing in soil and so on after this was applied. So, And this is a lot more convenient yeah. for me because it's a dry powder yeah. instead of mixing wet stuff and... All that it's just more concentrated and it's easier for your plants to digest i think that's yeah because you spray it on it just goes basically right in through their plant yep. tissues through their leaves yeah like i always say we're actually not what we eat we are what we absorb in our guts um and very much that can all of these you know the tea digested frass in a compost tea pure clean codfish amino acids come on i mean plants couldn't ask for more absorbable forms of, of food energy than what they're getting. You know, your soil can't ask for a better digestive tonic and your plants can't ask for a better foliar feast than the pure protein and, and all, you know, delivered with clean water using these, uh, these filters. So yeah, it's an amazing, we, we, <laughs> he negotiated like he always does for his viewers and in a pretty insane deal. 40% <laughs> off, like the biggest discount they've ever given. Now I will say that watch out for this stuff if you guys have cats. If you guys put this in your stocking the night before and you have yeah. cats, the cats smell this, they're gonna paw down the stocking and they're gonna probably rip open this bag and then they're gonna have it all over their mouth in the morning because cats love this stuff. I left some out in my garden and the neighborhood cats came by and they were like, they just like tore it up, man. Even dogs. dogs. Yeah, all dogs love it too. Dogs love yeah, it too. Yeah, anyway, I've talked about this before with you. Where the, a grow store was in the East Bay was stocking it. The grow store's protective pit bull that you know hung out with the owner in the store all the time um, got into the the shelf and and was just tearing through this stuff. Yeah, I have yet to see a creature uh, that doesn't crave this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Josh. So if somebody had to buy this normally. Like at full price on your website, what would it cost them? Yeah, we just sat down and did the math, and this is about, uh, what did we come up with? It's about $152. Right, $152 normally, but because it's Black Friday, limited time only, what are you going to sell to them for? 40% off, guys. A little over 40% off, $89.95. $89.95 for all this. Guys, you could barely get two of this plus this. You're getting like these free for the $89.95. So yeah, if you guys know people that are gardeners, have friends, or even just want to gift it to yourself, <laughs> now is the time to buy these Boogie Brew products at the lowest price ever. It's a Black Friday deal. Black the Friday ship, the deal. The shipper special. Keep your yep. shippers working. Now here's yeah. the thing, guys. I'm going to tell you guys honestly that, hey, this is a great you know, package, <laughs> and to save the most, get this deal. But I'm going to say, hey, let's support Josh a little more, his shippers a little more, and you guys some more by putting in some add-ons. You know, so I want, Josh is gonna have these available as extras. You don't need to buy these to, to, you know, get the package deal for the best deal. But you should add these on not only for your garden, but just to have some excellent products for you. And you know, you could, these could be stuck under the tree. They're kind of heavy for stocking. So Josh, you're gonna have as add-ons, more of the Boogie Black, because you know, this is a small thing. And I mean, I run through this stuff like nobody's business. Um, so once again, you want to go over why should somebody add this not only to the compost tea, but even in like a planting hole like I do. Yeah, I mean, less is more. You don't need much of it, honestly. Um, yeah, sprinkle some in there that's going to fortify the chitin levels, the chitinase levels, make your soil more pest resistant, especially if you've had anything as evil, as gnarly as say uh, root, root nematodes, root aphids, um, creatures like that, that uh, or a path, any kind of bad pathogen. Um, you know, botrytis, pythium, root rot disease organisms, they will generally be repelled quite well by the Boogie Black. So yeah, go ahead, support us and, and yeah, we'll, we, buy some we do, extra some, stuff. do, do some add-ons. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, we'll have Leah, you know, go over the numbers on that. The, the add-ons will be, they'll still be a good value add-on right, for exactly. sure. It'll be a value-added value add-on. Right. And then we also are going to offer as an add-on 
the Kalawana, Kalawana castings. These are the castings I use also in my yeah, garden. Yeah. So you want to tell briefly about the Kalawana castings and why somebody yeah. might want to get this add-on? Uh, they're they're the best, along with OGS. Um, they're every bit. You know, I'm not going to say one is better than the other. When we couldn't get OGS, we were so blessed to find these and. Yeah, we, high but, end castings, not like this cheap run of the mill stuff you buy at your big box store. I mean, the quality on these, if you care to show you show the audience, you know, dip in there and excuse me. Um, just, just uh, visually, there you go. It's just rich black, like dark casting, and exactly man. rich and dark. Just really and, neutral smell. Like this is just yeah, these are really, really clean, good castings. Really man. clean, exactly. If you know, if you know, you know. If when you know, you know. Castings, you know. Yeah, these are when not you know, like some know. stuff like. <laughs> sifted down with all this compost in there. I mean, it's well, pretty solid. Well, ver Vermi compost has benefits, right. um, but this is a pure casting. Yeah, this yeah. is a pretty pure mm -hmm. casting. Yeah, they're fed uh, a good diet with a cocoa peat based diet. Um, we talked about this in other videos, but that's a world class casting, and that's you can make a for your workhorse tea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, highly recommended, along with my favorite sugar, which would, in this case, I believe in using sucanat. Um, it, rather than molasses, again a sugar video we did, we talked yep, all about car carbohydrates. <laughs> right so here. for the basis for any, even though like in Boogie Brew's case, worm castings only make up 20% net volume of the whole tea recipe, guess what? That 20% worm castings represents 80% of the biological horsepower, we believe it does, um, in any compost tea recipe. Therefore. Uh, if you're going to make a more sensible tea, more sensibly priced, that is, than our over-the-top <laughs> brew. Start uh, with a yeah, good yeah, casting. Always start with a killer casting, yeah. Very important. The Caliwana castings are amazing. They, they also feed them um, insect frass, uh, all kinds of good stuff, uh, fed to the worms. So the worms diet, you know, you get, it's just like, well, not what we eat, we're what we absorb, and same with your worms, you know, if you feed them right, and if they're healthy, and eating right, having the right uh, environmental parameters and everything, they're going to absorb everything beautifully and then what comes out of their guts is just a world-class soil food and I believe, I believe these are too good of a casting to simply waste on um, using more than you need to um, in, or excuse me, not more than you need to, you you'd use more to add to your soil but you can gain um, by using less, you can gain more results by, by using less it. by brewing it. Yeah, yes, that they're absolutely. they're so good that it's almost a waste not to brew them. Yeah, yeah. Not I mean, I just them. once again add these to my planting hole. Every single plant that goes yeah. in my garden. When I get back to my garden tomorrow, I'm probably doing more planting. Mm -hmm. So, Josh. Finally, thing we're going to add in as an add-on, they could also uh, get the Boogie Humus. So you want to mm -hmm. talk about the Boogie Humus product and why that's so valuable to people? Sure. Is it, this it, just compost man or is it special? I believe it's special. Um, it started out already as a really good fungally dominant wood chip, orchard wood um, chip uh, compost that's been aged for a minimum of two to three years. And then at our Humboldt facility, we soak it in a beer hop yeast mash, and that's like an enzyme bath that breaks the wood chip matter down into a world class hummus. Um, it's the other foundational ingredient along with the castings to a good compost tea recipe. So again, there's an add-on for that for you to make your own workhorse teas instead of making boogie brew. And of course, you could also add a little bit of this to each planting hole as well if you want to take it to the next level. Yeah, if it, it, again... But once again, it's always better to brew these guys because yeah, they're coming in small volumes. You're paying a lot to get these things shipped to you, which I believe should be available in yeah. every community. You know, literally every apartment complex should be producing these as sort of a... You know, there should be a worm bin and a compost bin, a wood chip pile, and so on, supporting every street corner in America. We did a video a long time ago about that. Um, and what you all are doing already, a lot of you in your backyards, is the future. The only future humanity has, because World War III has begun, and it's the battle to save us from ourselves. Most people are too dumb to know that, but you all know differently. All right, Josh, so how does somebody get the Black Friday 40% off Boogie Brew package? Well, once again, it's going to be available to for his for your for my, viewers. For my viewers only. Right. So, like, only, only you guys. Right. On the special GYG page, we don't, John won't allow us to publish a link to that on our website, so make sure you look at the links shown both down below. BoogieBrew.net slash GYG. There you go. That's it. That's for the 40% off and limited time. So when is this going to expire, Josh? End of the month. End of the month. End of November, guys. So don't delay. 
ordered today. I don't think he's going to run out of stock, but this price will expire. I mean, he can't go on selling you guys stuff at 40% off. He's basically losing his shirt. Yeah. But so that's what I'm saying. Do some add-ons for him, help him out. You know, you'll get some extra value and he'll make a little bit also. But yeah, nonetheless, I wanted you guys to have this deal available for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are still not filtering your water. You're still not on the composting. You're still not using the pure protein. Honestly, guys, these are some of my favorite products that I use in my very garden that I get directly from Boogie Brew. So once again, link down below to that. And if you guys enjoyed this episode with Josh and the Black Friday sale, hey, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. More importantly, please be sure to share this with other people in the gardening community so that we could make more plants dance and get this boogie brew out so that more people could try this and more people could get growing organic to get rid of the chemicals and to have healthier soil, create healthier plants, higher yields, and more importantly to me, the most nutritious food possible. Yeah, just make sure you just don't use any deadrients. You don't need to buy any of these products, but promise me all you won't use any deadrients. Be a dfz -er, a deadrient-free zone gardener. Wonderful. Yeah. So also make sure you click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss my new and upcoming episodes. I've come in every five to seven days. You don't know where I show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. The past episodes are wealth and knowledge. Over 1,700 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to teach you guys all about how to grow your own food at home. And I'll put some of my favorite videos with my buddy Josh. <laughs> Ones that are, uh, this is the first one we've done on products in a while. Right, yeah. It's kind of fun, you know, do a, do a basic <laughs> sales spiel video with you. Uh, I'll uh, put links down below to some of the other videos yeah. we've done talking about uh, uh, all kinds yeah. of other things yeah. that are really cool to, yeah. to help educate you guys that's, about growing that's what healthier it's about. crops and getting away yeah. from the chemicals. That's what it's about. You know, money's like manure. you got to spread it around, sometimes more thinly than others. We're certainly doing that right now to the point of this hopefully being a tax write-off <laughs> you know we'll see what Leah says uh, forgiveness is easier to purchase than permission two choices in married life happy or right she gets to be both but um, no in all seriousness it's the knowledge is what needs to be spread around I mean that's what you're doing with this amazing deal that's like basically a loss leader this is gonna get out to more people so that they could try it and then get off the chemicals yeah, and that's what I want to see happen, you know, just be a boogie ambassador without even buying anything from us, and, and by that I mean be an FBFer, a field-based farmer, and, you know, respect, respect the planet that we still all are fortunate enough to live on, so thank you for helping me do that, and I'm looking forward to being back with John in a video sooner rather than later and not where we're just trying to sell you a Black Friday deal but where we're sharing knowledge, we're sharing love, where it's about the, the philosophical path that we all need to take forward as a, as, as a species. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so with that, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time and until then, remember, keep on growing.